What's down, my people? You're not tuned in to me TV. Now, we're going to bring you all the stories about the stories that we need to bring you stories about. You feel me? So, that's what we're going to do. Some stories might be good. Some story might be tragic. But, hey, man, that's how these stories go. I don't make it up. Now we getting into it. You feel me? So before, look, man, bang the like button. Bang that subscribe button. You see them on the screen? Yeah, them right there. Hit the like and subscribe, man. Hit that right there. Now we about to get started with our story. Yo, 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 what's up, my people? Look, man. Before we get started with the story, man, go hit the like button. Go hit that subscribe. We trying to get your boy to 5K, man. 5K, we on the road to 5K, so hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. So, boom. As you can see from the title, as you can see from the picture, I got your boy, infamous Charleston White. Yeah, man. Let me get to it, man. Now, let's start off by saying this. This man has some great points that he always mentioned and always get to in most of his interviews, right? So, we're not going to totally disregard what this guy has to say. But I find it ironic that if you go look back from the beginning when he first started doing interviews to now you gonna see a lot of different things that change you feel me now he talk about rappers he talk about younger kids and doing good and this and that but you see tendencies of the contradiction you feel what i'm saying he talk about rappers but in this upcoming clip that i'm about to show you you pretty much get the vibe this 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 what he wanted to be a rapper the whole time. You feel what I'm saying? Now, he wanted that same type of limelight. Whatever it is, it caused him to to act somebody, uh, act like somebody that he's not. You feel what I'm saying? So, I got this upcoming clip. And I got more information for y'all. You feel what I'm saying? To point out a lot of the contradic contradicting things he has done. You know what I'm saying? Since his time being on the air. And let's just let's just say, say it for what it is. A lot of these people are using this man. And he's too foolish to understand because he's getting paid for it. See, he's getting paid to be a fool. He's getting paid to be, be a clown. So this is nothing but the modern day blackface. You feel what I'm saying? When they used to embarrass us uh, on stage for money and different things like that. Now people are willingly doing it for the attention, for the clout. For the money. You feel what I'm saying? So this guy is definitely being used. No matter how much you see him, how much he getting paid, he's being used. But check out this clip right here. A lot of the time, we wake up and we look at everything else. And we hear a lot of bullshit. And we think the bullshit that we hear is true. And we overlook the statistics. Because the statistics is facts, right? Look close your ears. Cut this shit and get explicit. Got the eyes so stacked against how can we not become I find it crazy. You feel me? Because if you look, if you look. In these clips, look at him in the background. You can't tell me he not enjoying this. You can't tell me he not all with this. As much as you talk about rappers, but I bet you he find a way to justify this right here. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, look what he rapping about. He's he's rapping with a message. He rapping with a no, bro. You you come on air talking about rappers, so it's only cool if you like him. It's only cool if you approve of the message that they send. So it's only cool. Look at what this man has done, man, over his time of being on the public eye or in the public eye. He hurry up and ran and go, got a chain. A big ass chain. For what? What you ran and got the chain for? To be the imagery of a rapper. Do not believe nothing this man say. This, I ain't gonna say nothing. Let me rephrase that. Most of the things this man says is bullshit. Most of it. Because cause look at his actions. 
His actions say, oh, I'm for the people, I'm for this, I'm for that. But then he contradicted himself by going to get a big chain, being in music videos. You got to understand, this man probably been 125 pounds soaking wet. You feel what I'm saying? Cockeyed, never really had his pick of all the women that's around. He never was the pick of the litter. He never was the the one who got all the bitches and got all the money, like, excuse my French. You feel what I'm saying? So now he find that this is his opportunity to do all the things he couldn't do when he was younger due to his disposition. Most women don't like short men. Most women don't like cockeyed men because he got something happened to his eye when he was younger. You feel what I'm saying? Then you're 125 pounds soaking wet. Not only that, bro, you showing guns all on the internet. Like you doing stuff that's making you look foolish. First, you had to make sure you got the crowd, right? So you had to play it cool and play it cool. And once you realized you had the crowd, you started doing some dumb shit. You're 47 years old, my G. For, this man is 47. Now, you, you think about this. You had to conjure up and make up a character just to be accepted in society. The regular Charleston White is not accepted. He's not praised. He's not saluted how Charleston White think the regular Charleston White should be. So what did Charleston White do? He created a fictional character. And all he doing is starting drama, 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 drama. If you got so much of this kid stuff going on, why you just didn't stay in that lane? Because you feel like you wasn't getting your notoriety fast enough? Because you feel like you wasn't getting your uh, publicity fast enough? Or you wasn't getting help fast enough? Like, what was it that you had to create a confrontational, fictitious character just to carry out the things that you carrying out. And a lot of it not even positive. You got into it with Soldier Boy. You're talking about Boosie's son. You're talking about T.I.'s son. You're saying kids that's 17 and 18 need to go to jail. Fuck them, F them, excuse my French. And it's just so, it don't make no sense. Like you trying to help, but you hurting at the same time. Bro, you almost 50 years old with these antics. Huh? Like, you 50 years old and you decide when you in your 40s, your late 40s, you're going to create this character that you just so smart. You are the modern day buffoon. You are the modern day buffoon. For, for anybody to really be hanging on to your words and believing in your words is crazy. It's crazy, G. Now, don't get me wrong. He's an oxymoron, which means he's going to tell some of the truth mixed in with the lies. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where he get his following from because he's definitely telling some truth. But most of it is just a fictitious character, man. A role that this guy is playing to say he's 47 years old and he's trying to help people and community and all this. Like, no, man. No, man. You're telling people to be snitches. You're telling people to be rats. You're telling people to do all kind of like wild stuff that the black community never accepted. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's crazy. Some of his points are valid for the gangsters and the gang banging and what, what have a person got from that. We pretty much haven't got too much from it at all. So don't get me wrong. I would say 10 to 15 percent of what he's saying is solid and actually true. You feel what I'm saying? And he actually has a valid point. But 85 to 90 percent, give or take, is fucking bullshit. Point blank, period. And nobody should follow his lead or follow his words when it comes down to this. You feel what I'm saying? But you're going to have somebody try to be another Charleston White, and it's not going to end up too good for him. But look here, man. Look here, man. This the end of the video right here, man. You let me know how you feel about this, man. Let me know what you feel and how you feel about Charleston White. You feel like he's just a pure facade. You feel like he's he's got a purpose. And let me know, do you feel like the industry is using this man? Because I'm definitely going to come with a part two of this. This is not over. This is a very long story. I could get into depth and, and into all the things. But let me know what you think, man. Like. 
comment, subscribe, man, subscribe. Get your boy on the road to 5K, you know. You heard me? I'm going to be back with another one from me, TV. You heard me?